morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, I've just been, oh, my shed's been just filled with shit, been building rooms and little studio, etc. And so I've just had stuff everywhere, and I've finally got everything back to sort of sorted. And I thought, ah, oh, I might put a little video together about my camping on my boat side of things. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a little run through. I've sort of got all my gear over on the bench there. Um, and I've kind of got stuff that I keep in the boat. Um, and then that's sort of the camping side and the fishing gear determining, determining, depending on what sort of I'm doing, you know what I mean? So, but um, just sort of starting. So really there's not much going on in there. The fridge will always stay in here. I've got a, um, a bigger angle that stays in the truck. So that's just my uh, 40, I think they are 38, 40 litre angle. Um, yeah, uh, yep. And my, um, what do you call it? Anchor light. So that's something that will always be in the boat, something I don't have to remember to grab. Um, go on the front here. Sort of this is just um, the fenders and I've got my big uh, anchor bag so that's always in there. Anyway back to gear, um, these are my two whips, my two aerials, um, I like to keep them in here so I don't forget it and just a rope and take a little brush for giving the, the flooring a scrub, you know if you're smashing mackies and bleeding everywhere etc. Um, in the storage area here, I'll just chuck you up here. So down in here, um, that's a waterproof jacket by Cast. I like to keep that in the boat so I don't forget. Um, so these are the two two life jackets that I've got. Um, that style of jacket. So I keep them in there. Keep them in a good waterproof bag so you know I don't have to worry about drying them out and all that sort of stuff. I've just got to keep them serviced. They're the ones with the automatic gas thing in it. Um, that's a first aid kit. So it always stays in the boat. And just my safety grab bag. Everything from fire extinguishers, flares, etc, etc. Um, and of course the e -perb on this side. So that's everything um, basically that stays in the boat at all times. Also got my 55 litre water bladder down there. It's a bit dark, I don't have the light on the camera. But I generally just keep that in the boat as well. And that can be filled up via hose. Yeah, so now that I've got, this is where I had all my computer and amp and guitar stuff set up when I was jamming in the shed and that. Um, but now I've sort of got my little benches back. I, anything to do with my boat and camping um, goes here. Um, sleeping, power, just everything. So I'll run you through that. Um, just some cleaning gear for the boat. Again, it's just so I know when I'm doing something with the boat, it's all here. That's a little bag I tend to just throw. It just seems to be on the boat at all times and it will just have anything in it, all the little weird stuff. Um, a drift anchor or whatever you want to call it, can't remember the name of that. Um, hardly gets used. So I've got a coffee bag with the jet boil and all that sort of stuff. Um, just some comfy shoes. That's my sleeping bag in a, like a little light silk liner and pillow if needed. Um, that's all my snorkeling gear. Um, actually, that's one thing I forgot to show you. Under here, this was a sort of a thought just recently actually. I thought it's probably, not that I do much snorkeling, but it's probably a good idea safety wise to always have a spear gun. So I've mounted that up in there. That's just a little Cray style gun. My long one's up there, but it's just, now I know that there's always a spear gun on my boat. 
you never know I suppose worst case scenario you're stuck in the water and I'd like to think that in an emergency fuck that's bright I could um, swim under my boat grab my mask and a spear gun and potentially not get eaten anyway bit of touch up paint yummy blue um, that's my 12 inch Lawrence and the uh, uh, ram bracket for up on the front of the cast deck I tend to take that when I'm camping that's just a battery um, charger where you can charge a lot of stuff off it a really good torch head torch um, and then this is fishing gear fishing gear all the fly fishing gear fishing gear fly rods so that's basically everything I need fishing wise from top water to jigging this one's all more plastics and barra sort of stuff not that I barra fish but all that sort of gear obviously there are my top water lures all my every, anything to do with fly fishing's in there and this is kind of my all round bag um, with everything from leaders to pliers to trolling lures to jigs um, all the tackle um, all that sort of stuff gimbals, pliers, knives gloves all that sort of stuff now I just wanted to run through some things that I reckon is important to have on your boat never use these but I won't go on the boat without them so if you were going on a you know, two, three night bloody mission or whatever. A good set of bolt cutters. If you ever did land a treble in your in your thigh or your hand or your foot or your head or your face or whatever, that could be a lifesaver between coming home and going to the doctor or just getting it out and chucking a bit of betadine on it and strapping it and having still having a good little holiday. So that is something I reckon everyone should have on their boat. Yeah, I won't go into fishing gear, this is more just sort of what to go away with, or what I go away with on my boat. Um, this is that camp stretcher bed thingy um, that you've all seen before. It's a little tent cot thingy. That just, hold that bag there holds my little stainless steel table. Got my little table. Starting to rain, which I think for a boat, that's another great little thing, like having a, a metal style table, something you can put a cooker and you know, something that's not going to burn and then burn through to your boat. Um, a decent sledgy, um, also got a stake behind there, um, like a star picket for anchoring. I'm going to generator, which I haven't really used much yet, um, some. Further life jackets, kids ones and that. I've got this little deck chair. It's just like your normal one with short legs, so it's just good for the boat. It just takes up less room. This cooker, this is a June cooker. And it's by far the best cooker you'll ever get for a one does all thing. Um, I'll show you why. I don't mean to sound arrogant when I say this is the best cooker you can get, but it really is out of all the cookers I've experimented with. Um, but because, especially for a boat, it obviously comes with a lid, and it comes with quite a deep sort of thing. So you can do all your fish, and then you can cook your spaghetti bolognese, you, you know what I mean? It's, it's a deep dish barbecue. And then I've got a tub here, which I'll go through. And then I've just got me fishing rods up there. Um, yep. And then this little camera box here. It normally comes with me, obviously, all my camera gear. There will be charging and stuff here. But yeah, I'll just run through what's in my camp box. It's like I said, I've got this tub just specifically. I just know I'm going camping on the boat. I can grab this. And it'll have the majority of the stuff I need on it. A travel tower. Having a quick rinse off with the fresh water system on the boat. Um, a little tart, I sort of just lie out, um, especially if I'm cooking with 
you know, shallow frying fish with oil just to save all that oil splatter going everywhere. Plate set. Um, a camp cooking set, it's got everything, all sorts of pots and pans and all that sort of stuff. A couple of Stanley mugs, only got a few in here just because if I take some on camping and only making them a coffee and they don't have a cup or something. Um, this is a little pouch so I just keep sort of, um, like I've got a Leatherman and a, you know, a life straw and some knives and forks and a little optimal knife and um, all them survival bloody thingies and it's just got little random bits and pieces, some spare batteries etc. Um, just kind of stays in there really. Um, oil, you know, oil, salt and peppers, um, some uh, freezer bags, uh, sealable bags, sorry, for if you want to do fish and tongs and knives and all that sort of stuff. Um, keep a container of breadcrumbs for doing fish, a little knife sharpener. So just a, it's a kitchen box basically with a few little extra things in it. So that pretty much gets me out of trouble. Campers, yeah. Um, what else did I have here? Oh, I've also got a sewing tunnel that I can take for extended trips. Just a king's fold-out one, nothing special, does the job. My boat's all wired up, Anderson-wise, um, so I can put that out and pump some power back into my batteries. Anyway, that's my camp gear for the boat. And I, I do enjoy having it all just laid out like that because when I go, I'm just like, even when I went on the trip, which my last video, um, you know, with the whole shed being upside down and that, I sort of got out there and I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have this or I don't have that. Um, didn't have my pliers and all this sort of stuff. So it's just handy to have it all laid out. So when you're going, you just go, right, I need this, this, and that. So that's good. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, just a quick time little video just to run you through some of the camping gear. Um, let me know what you take. Like, there's always them little items that people sort of take with them camping. Um, and boat camping is different than full drive camping or um, hiking. You know, there's always different little tools and the way they're applied and stuff like that. So... If you got any cool ideas, let us know. Um, apart from that, I'm about to spit this card out, put it in the computer, and put her up. See you on the next one. Cheers. Actually, what got me doing this is I'm getting all my stuff ready because the mother-in-law's coming up with her nana. No, with her mum. So my wife's nana, Uma, she's Dutch, and her sister... My wife's Nana's sister from Holland, and they're staying here for a couple of weeks, which means I can get out of school drops and picks for a few nights and maybe grab all that stuff we just spoke about, put it in the boat, hook her up on the cruiser, and whew, up and down the coast for a few nights. See you on the next one. Little